À tous de DDO, attention pour moins une minute. The DDO is going to call out the one minute mark. Top H0, moins une minute. And we are into the final 60 seconds. Give us a chance to say hi to our friends at ISRO in Bengaluru, to our friends at GeoCompSat and Kari in South Korea and at Daishon, locally to the Kuru Cinemari and Kayan sites, to our industrial partners, ISA and Kness, and to all of you following the broadcast on the internet. We hope you are enjoying it. Settle in, and we will cut away and let you listen to the DDO. She'll call out the final seconds. And remember to watch for the cryogenic arms to open. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 246 avec GSAT 11 et GeoComsat 2A. If I may say, than anybody predicted, as the DDO says everything is okay on board, you saw Ariane rise right on time. Et la trajectoire est nominale. Lifting off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, you can see that, with her two new satellites. Always an impressive sight as Ariane roars off the ground on her mission. The two boosters providing 90, that's 90% of our thrust right now propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. Our mass at liftoff, 776 tons. Now, to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push, you can imagine. And push we have, Ariane 5 burning five tons of fuel per second. That's 2.5 tons per second in each booster. Plus the core stage, the middle stage, burning another 300 kilos per second. The DDO says propulsion is normal on board, so we're doing fine. Very fine shots as Ariane 5 starts to head east toward the Atlantic, across the Atlantic. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon begin to see. We are in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. The first three stages are powered, and the fourth is not. Right now, as you can see on the animation, the first flight phase, the single first stage engine, and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons of fuel in just over two minutes, in about five seconds. And they're the first to be extinguished, and you'll hear that from the DDO, and you'll see that, and... Séparation des deux EAP, la trajectoire est nominale. The white point of light in the middle is the the lower stage continuing to burn, and the two orange lights on either side are the two boosters flaming out. That's what it looks like up there. There's another booster on the port side of the vehicle falling into the ocean. This first flight phase using two different types of propellant. La propulsion de l'étage principal cryotechnique est nominale. Coming up next will be the separation of the fairing. On the bottom of your screen on the right are altitude 100 kilometers on the on the left, sorry, altitude 100 kilometers on the right 225 kilometers per second as we wait for fairing separation. The DDO will call that out. And there you are, coming right on time. Et séparation coiffe. Separation is given by two pyrotechnic systems blowing these two halves away in a very controlled explosion. No danger to the vehicle threatened, of course. There's another half on the starboard side of the vehicle falling away. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. Over 100 kilometers up, there's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. We can also get rid of any dead weight. The fairing weighs two and a half tons, so it's a good time to get rid of it.
And you see the cutoff of the lower stage and its separation and ignition of the upper stage. Right on time, we've had confirmation of these events. De you see the lower stage falling away. It will drop into the Atlantic off the Gulf of Guinea. These three commands given by the onboard computer in about 13 seconds. So that brings us into the third and final powered flight phase, the single upper stage engine that'll burn until plus 25 minutes or about 16 minutes roughly. And the job of the La upper stage is to take the satellites to their injection point, position them for separation and release them. Total weight for the two passengers, 10 tons. GSAT-11 has a 15-year lifetime, and GeoComsat, 10 years. Ariane 5 has hit her maximum speed. You can see on the bottom right, 9.3 kilometers as the upper stage engine shuts down. Now, with the power shut down, you'll see our speed start to drop as we move into this Extinction new coasting de phase, cryotechnique. also called the ballistics phase. It's the last fight, flight phase and the only one that is not powered. We mentioned that Ariane had reached her maximum speed, which was 9.3 kilometers. De la de au profit de You're starting to see her slow down. We're already down to 9.26 kilometers per second. In eight minutes, when she separates GSAT-11 at plus 29.07, her speed will be 8.7 kilometers per second. When she releases the SILDA, that's the carrying structure for the second passenger, her speed will be 8.7, uh, sorry, 8.3 kilometers per second. That comes at 31 minutes and 48 seconds. And finally, when she separates GeoComsat at plus 33.39, her speed will be down to 8.1 kilometers per second. One minute to go until separation. GSAT-11 arrived here in French Guiana on October 26th, began its tests in the satellite preparation buildings here at the CSG. process takes about a month, I think we mentioned that. GeoComsat 2A arrived in French Guiana on October 20th and went right to the satellite preparation buildings here for its checks. Coming up on confirmation from the DDO on separation of our upper passenger due in uh, just about 20 seconds. You see GSAT-11 on the left of your screen. The, the gold and white square underneath that, the black bell-shaped structure, is the carrying structure for our second passenger. Always a moment of high concentration. The teams have gone through these procedures before, but it does call for tremendous focus. You don't want to say tense, but focused gives you an idea. Separation GSAT 11. And there, the DDO has confirmed separation of our first passenger and smiles from the ESRO people. We're waiting for a confirmation of the SILDA separation. And there's the scheduled separation. Et separation du SILDA, système de lancement double Ariane. And the DDO has confirmed it. And you can see revealed to the elements is our second passenger, due for separation in a minute. GeoComsat 2A is designed to conduct weather monitoring missions, whereas GeoComsat 2B de la manœuvre d'orientation will carry de out Earth environment a. monitoring and ocean monitoring missions. Separation GeoComsat 2A. For the GeoComsat people. And the final good news, and you heard the applause from the people in Jupiter. Ariane 5 once again delivering her second passenger, Geocomsat 2A, off the coast of Africa, like GSAT 11, a little farther out over the water. So from the rather focused minutes, moments ago, you can see the change here in Jupiter, very buoyant all across the space center, and at all the points and posts where people are following the launcher and the satellite. Work is just beginning, or soon will be, at the other sites around the world where the satellite's first maneuvers are being monitored.